Alright, what is up guys, it's your Beast here, welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum stuff. And like an idiot, I don't have any, like, um, what's it called, stupid freaking live commentary files for this part either, so you just gotta live with this thing being a regular commentary. I promise, I promise, for God's sake, the next one will be a live commentary, I am 99.9% .9 sure about that. So, yeah, first of all, I just wanted to say that I am on vacation right now, or at the time I'll get up with this, I am on vacation, and I am not going to be able to upload um, that many black and white battles because of my motherboard was dead and stuff, and, um, I mean, it was just, it was terrible, I, I lost all of the save, save files because I wasn't able to back them up because they were in a specific folder, I couldn't reach them, so... I don't know, I couldn't start up my operating system after I installed my new motherboard. I have to, you know, get those files spe files a uh, special way. And uh, the Coliseum one was on a separate hard drive, so I was e able to... Yeah, well, it was, like, on the, like... Usually, like, hard drives are, like, split into two pieces on, on a PC. It's, like, the C drive and the D drive. And I had all the Coliseum parts on the D drive. Thank, thank God for that, because, um... Or else I would have lost all my parts, and that would have been terrible. But I'm really thankful that I've got these things at least. And I'm going to try to upload them daily when I'm here. Um, and I can only upload, like, a few worth of battles that I've saved up. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but that's just how it's going to be for now. Um, but I am playing some Coliseum right now, and I see this ducking guy. He's, like, all mad. He's like, what the hell is going on? How much is it going to take to blah, blah, blah? I, I didn't manage to read that fast enough, but... He's just like, hey, what the hell is the matter with you? Have you sucked the spirit out of you and stuff? And they're like arguing about some random stuff that I really don't care about, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk to Ducking. Uh, this this little guy right here is all scared because of Sylvia. He's apparently Ducking's friend, and uh, you know he was really angry and stuff. He's like, sorry, I'm busy. You have you'll have to excuse me. All right, I'll leave for now, I guess. So. I honestly don't know what I'm doing this in this part. I think I'm just continuing to uh, face a bunch of people. Um, I don't know. I might. Well, I, I really can't remember. I'm just gonna check out this windmill because, um, if I remember correctly, there's something going on at this place. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but these guys are pretty much just chilling here, talking about some random stuff that I don't care about. This guy's like, hey, for long 30 years I've been. Spinning these gears. That's that's pretty good. You've been you've been working at this windmill for 30 years. That's that's like twice as long as I have lived. I'm 15 years old. <laughs> so yeah, this guy's probably like really old or something. I don't know, but whatever. So I'm pretty much just walking over here, um, walking over this bridge, uh, just looking for things to do. Really, I'm just walking in this place right here. I'm stuck, so I can't get through. And um, I am going to talk to this guy. Now I remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to talk to this guy. He's talking about um, some awesome Pokemon like Kale did. He apparently won some sort of Pokemon. Oh, shish. What am I saying? I have to keep that a secret. Pretend you never heard me, okay? So this guy just said something that he should have never, ever said. And um, it's about that Kale guy who was in the entrance of this place. And... Um, you know, that, that's going to be pretty cool, you know. We're just going to go ahead and check out that place and see what Kale is up to. And uh, see what's going on over there. Um, just pretty much, like I was standing in the way. Let's just walk over here. Uh, past these dumbasses over here. Um, I'm pretty much just looking for Kale. Kale is at the entrance of this place. That guy with the green hair. That guy, okay. So, ha, what are you, what, what's that you wanted to know if I have a special Pokemon, whatever. It might as well just see it with your own eyes, okay? I'm, I'm going to have to battle this guy. So I believe this guy actually has a shadow ferret. And um, it's going to be a pain for me to capture, actually. Um, this ferret right here, it's level 33. And um, I think it actually has some... Well, I, I don't know. I, it, it really doesn't... It doesn't have that great of moves, but it was just really difficult to capture, I think. Or I might, I might, might even fail to capture it. I honestly can't remember. So... Fur is right here, and um, he's gonna waltz as well, which is gonna sit or trace my synchronized, so that's 
pretty cool. Um, just gonna go for the quick attack, which actually does a decent chunk considering it's a furret and it doesn't have like super amazing uh, physical attack. But I'm just gonna go for the shadow rush. It does like nothing, and that was kind of disappointing. But just gonna get some more recoil damage. Umbreon is gonna go for the bite on. Uh, why did I go for the furret? I guess I just wanted some more damage on that thing. I don't know. But in prison, that's not gonna work out at all because. Um, I, I actually never understood what the effects of Imprison were because uh, I, I guess because well, I don't know I, I never actually checked it out you know so he goes for the Shadow Rush does like well actually does a lot to me because I don't know that you know Kulava doesn't have that great of defenses so that kind of makes sense he's gonna go for the Shadow Rush himself it's gonna do a, a decent chunk and Bite is gonna do like nothing because I think it's bulky but it's gonna do enough so where I can possibly capture it with like a Pokeball and he goes for the confusion I think that was, and that's not going to affect Umbreon because I'm a psychic type. And I see that I've only got two great balls left, which is not good at all, uh, because that means I might fail to capture this thing if it does not stay in its Pokeball immediately. So, I'm going to try to go for the one great ball, see if this works. See if this works. Come on, alright, you can stay in this ball. Well, actually, I, I think I actually remember what's going to happen now. It's going to... It's gonna actually snap out of this Pokeball right here, like the third, and then it just you know, snaps out. That pissed me off right there. You should have heard the like commentary. It was. <laughs> you guys would have liked it, but he actually has a helping hand, and then um, that's really not gonna work out for him at all because I'm just gonna finish out that roll, so. I really don't see the point of doing that at all. <laughs> so I'll take it out of there, and then. Um, I'm gonna get some more experience points, and then. Um, He's gonna send out the C dot, and I'm like, oh crap, what the hell can this thing do? It's just a C dot. Who, who am I kidding? It's, a, it's just a C dot. I, I can just fill it off with, you know, flare, not flare blitz, but I don't know, whatever I'm gonna go for. So, just gonna go for the Great Ball. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to capture it. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Come on, you can stay in the Pokeball. Come on, come on, come on. Stay in your Pokeball, son. And it just snaps out. Which is just unfortunate. So, I am forced to take out that bird right now, which sucks. <laughs> it really sucks because I wanted to try to capture all Shadow Pokemon, but I, I guess I gotta I have to do that later, you know. So, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Rush. I guess I don't have the. Oh, I guess I don't have any fire moves yet. Um, so, he's just gonna go for the Bite. I guess I, I don't see the point of doing that because Bite is not like an amazing move. It, it's good if you're like using it on a bulky Pokemon, but I don't know. I, I would not see that move in competitive play. I would never see that. I, it's it's not not really a good move at all. So he goes for the what the hell was that? I didn't even see. Maybe a return. I don't know. But it's gonna draw a lot of Umbreon. I'm gonna just take that um, Furt out of there with Shadow Rush because I I'm forced to and. Uh, for it is dead, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's just how it's gonna be. So, get some more experience points. He's gonna set in his last, which is a good shot. And uh, that thing is, you know, it's not really a favorable matchup at all because it's a dark type, not da not a dark type, but it's a fighting type, and it can easily handle dark types if I'm not careful enough. So, uh, his last poke is a good shot. I should eventually be able to handle this thing if he does not get like a million crits in a row, which I doubt will happen. And uh, this thing is not really that bulky anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. So I go with the bite, it's not going to do much at all because of the resistance. And, uh, I think he's actually going to go for the karate shot or actually just for the focus energy, which is pointless because, you know, the cradle hits and it's not going to happen in this scenario. So, I'm just going to go for the shadow rush, which I think is going to take it out of there, and I think it's going to take out the lava as well, which is... Well, actually, no, he's going to live with, like, one HP left, and it's going to take out the lava, so... That kind of sucked, but I think Umbreon is going to take it out of that with a secret power, so that was a good game, Kale. You suck at this game. You are terrible, absolutely terrible, just like everyone else I've beaten in this game. I mean, people, like, there's just very few people in this game who are actually, like, difficult to defeat. I, I don't know what the hell is up with that, but that's just how it is. Pokemon is an easy game, so, yeah, I, I just beat up this guy right here. It was absolutely no match for me at all. He was way too easy to beat. <laughs> but the only like difficult thing about this battle was to capture that ferret, but I kind of failed, so that kind of sucks. So, 
this guy uh, was talking is talking about some random bullshit about Mirror B. He came up with that fancy, tough-sounding name Shadow Pokemon, but it was no dig big deal. Um, you guys should be careful too. Don't be played for a sucker. That's all. I, that's that's about all I give you when that calls you. Okay, whatever. Shadow Pokemon. What, what's it called? What, what, I, I didn't even read that. I didn't. I, I did not manage to read fast enough. So there's something going on at the house. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's Mayor B. And apparently that funny looking guy on the screen is the boss of this entire organization, whatever it is. So, you know, like, we have already broken Duck and Spirits and stuff like that. So, yeah, these guys or these dumbasses are just talking about some random bullshit that I don't care about. They're just talking about Shadow Pokemon. I gotta rescue them, and that's pretty much my mission in this game. Okay then, I shall now make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play. So this dumbass leaves the room and goes into his little cave, wherever that is. Um, and Yuki's like, it looks like the Colosseum is a secret. I guess we, there's no to choice to take a part of the Colosseum challenge, whatever. So, walk over here. Um, I'm just gonna walk up to the windmill because I hear there's stuff going on there. And uh, I'm, I'm just walking past this bitch right here. And I see that there's some guy walking out and he's just like really tired and he just falls on the ground someone there's trouble help me so i'm like talking to this guy the chef is his nice sylvia sylvia came in wait was sylvia that guy from before who who ducking was talking to did he just beat down these two old men oh my god this guy's this guy's a freaking this guy's a freaking jackass man he just or i don't know he's a, he's a freaking what shall I like call it? He's a he's a badass. That's what he is. He's a badass. He just beat down two old men. Oh my god! No, that's that's seriously a terrible thing to do. If I'm gonna be completely honest, but this guy is just talking about some random stuff, and uh, they're like, "Oh my god, who hit who? Who hit?" And then what, what the hell was that? I don't know. That was kind of a weird hot comment made by me. But the police comes because of the violence that's going on in this place, and uh, I'm gonna go and find some sort of gear that's stolen. And I know exactly where that that stupid gear is. I'm just gonna walk over here, walk out of this town, um, and I shall proceed to find the gear that is missing for this windmill. I'll suck at this house, and I'm gonna eventually get out, and I will take a ride on my whatever that thing is that I'm riding on. Is that a freaking bike? It doesn't look like a bike at all. It's a freaking scooter, whatever. I'm gonna call it a scooter. So, I'm gonna walk over here. Uh, see this little gear right here? I'm gonna pick it up. I don't know how I can <laughs> even fit that in my pocket, <laughs> considering how big it is. You know, that's what, she, that's what she said, but whatever. Um, so, I'm just gonna walk. Oh, not walk. I'm gonna take my scooter over here and um, go back to Pirate Town to talk with these dumbasses again about that m missing um, you know, gear for the windmill. And the windmill will be up running again, so that's gonna be pretty damn nice. I'm just walking over here, walking over the square, which is a circle uh, that makes absolutely no sense at all. And I'm walking here, and these dumbasses that are talking about some random bullshit. Terribly sorry, Jeff. Are you are you sure you're okay? I hope there's no no need for all the worrying. Good, that's good. But Sylvia, that, this is an outrage. No, no, I recon here. Ignore, ignore, ignore. What the fuck? I can't even read that word. Um, these guys are just talking about some random stuff that I don't care about. Enough about that ducking. Instead, I think you should look over there. Oh, look. What? You people? Heh, <laughs> I recon. I re recon you. Whatever. Yeah, I, fi I found your gear. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Alright, so these guys are just talking about some stuff <laughs> that I don't care about. I seem to say that a lot, man. I, I, I don't know. That, 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 that's, just a, that's just a habit that I have. But I'm just going to put the gear over there, and he's pointing at the direction uh, where I'm going to put the gear. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... What's it called? I'm just going to put the gear in the place, and it will be up running again. All done. Sending by. Let it roll. Oh, for 30 long years of cracking gears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the windmill is now up running. And uh, we can now enter the Colosseum. But I think we're going to do that in the next part. Because we really don't have that much time left in this part. So, 
for now hope you guys enjoyed this part if you did then leave a like rating if you did not then leave a dislike I'm okay with that and subscribe if you enjoy my videos so yeah I hope I'm hoping to God that the next part will be a um, regular commentary because uh, well not a regular commentary but live commentary because um, I mean these last like three parts have been like regular commentaries I, I've just been losing these audio files all, all over the place but that's just my dumbass doing that you know so yeah for now hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys later peace